Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Derek Neal. I'm the executive producer here at Maximum Games, and I'm excited today to be able to bring you this sneak peek into our upcoming action-adventure title, Extinction. What you're about to see is a small slice of one level, and uh, this is a very early pre-alpha build, so please expect some things to change between this and the final version. With that said, let's get started. Extinction takes place in a lush, vibrant fantasy world, full of painterly textures and bright, rich colors. But this world has come under siege by an organized army of massive otherworldly invaders known as the Reveni, who have begun systematically eradicating humanity off the face of the planet. You play as Avil, one of the last of the Sentinels, a legendary group of warriors with the skills and tools necessary in order to take down these massive foes. The gameplay in Extinction emphasizes high-speed traversal around the environment. In addition to the basic jump and double jump, Avil can also run horizontally along walls, run vertically straight up walls, air dash through the sky, come floating back down gently, can bounce off of springy objects in the environment such as building awnings or treetops, and can use his whip like a grappling hook to get around. When he does this, time slows down, giving him time to plan his next move and make split-second decisions. Of course, Avil's ultimate goal is to save as much of humanity as possible. He needs to protect them from the constant onslaught of the ogres and their minions. He does this by engaging them in real-time, skill-based combat. In addition to his series of regular strikes, he can also execute powerful AoEs, launch enemies into the sky, slam them back down to the ground, cancel his attacks into rune strikes for massive damage, and cancel his attacks into dodges in order to evade his opponent's strikes. Of course, the star of the show is Avil's combat with the ogres. Now, with their minions defeated, it's time for Avil to take on their master one of the enormous Reveni who has been rampaging through the countryside, obliterating everything in our fully destructible environments. The ogres themselves are fully dismemberable, but they wear armor in order to protect themselves. In order to take this beast down, Avil must first destroy that armor. This is done via a powerful charged up rune strike. Once the armor is destroyed, Avil can then dismember the limb underneath. Dismembering limbs like this builds energy which Avil will need to ultimately be able to strike the finishing blow. And as you can see, this ogre is none too happy about the loss of its leg, and Avil has to dodge its attacks while also trying to remove the remaining armor in order to get to the limbs beneath them. This is an extremely dangerous situation to be in because if any of these blows actually manages to hit Avil, it will be death in a single hit. Having now absorbed enough power and weakened the ogre sufficiently, Avil is now ready to go ahead and strike the finishing blow. Using the traversal options we showed off earlier, Avil is able to climb up the ogre's back, take out its helmet, and deliver the coup de grace. That was a relatively easy fight against a relatively basic opponent, but not all enemies are so simple. Depending on what armor, weapons, and abilities they have, each ogre presents its own unique challenges, and requires different strategies and tactics to take down. Here, we have an example of an ogre decked out in gold armor. This armor does open up some new traversal options for Avil, but as you can see, it's also much harder to remove. Each piece is protected by multiple latches that must be destroyed in order to remove it. Four of them on each leg piece, and two on each arm piece. Having finally destroyed all the latches, Avil is now able to dismember the first of this ogre's legs. Moving onto the arms, however, is now much more difficult, as they are constantly moving, making it hard to target those tiny latches. Avil must dodge the ogre's attacks and their minions' attacks while doing this. It has now taken sufficiently long to take down this ogre that its leg has regenerated, and it stood back up, but it no longer matters. Flush with energy from his last kill, Avil is ready. He climbs up the back of the ogre and is presented with one final challenge, staying up there long enough to take out its remaining armor. First, he removes the helmet, and then the collar. 
With these two obstacles out of the way and its neck exposed, Avil can finally go in for the kill. And so the second ogre falls. As I said before, this was just a short glimpse into some early pre-alpha gameplay, and there's much more to come. Go to Extinction.com to keep up with all the latest news and reveals, and I'll see you next time.